Submerged arc welding. Submerged arc welding is a type of arc welding. Wherein the arc generated between the filler rod electrode and the workpiece is submerged within the pool of granular flux, which is excessively fed to protect the weld pool and arc zone from atmospheric contamination. The filler rod is fed continuously from a reel to the point of arc generation. And the flux is fed through a hopper, and the weld is advanced by either moving the workpiece or the system of welding itself. This video will cover the following about the submerged arc welding. 1. Working principle. 2. Equipment used. 3. Working. 4. Advantages. 5. Disadvantages. And 6. Applications. If you are new to this channel click on the subscribe button and turn on all notifications so that you will never miss an update. For more information you can visit our website, adtwlearn.com. Working Principle The working principle of submerged arc welding is similar to that of the shielded metal arc welding. Wherein the arc is generated by striking the electrode against a workpiece or the area to be welded. The arc generated melts the filler rod and the shielding is provided by the blanket of granular flux. Some of the flux which is closer to the arc melts and forms the layer of slag over the weld, thus protecting the weld. Equipment used. Power source. AC or DC with high current. Most submerged arc welding is carried out in direct current electrode positive. Within the current range of 200 amp to 1200 amp. Electrode fed mechanism which is mounted on welding head. Flux delivery mechanism, which is also called as flux hopper. Welding head or welding gun. Electrode or filler rod which is fed in the form of continuous wire. Flux. Granular flux made from lime, silica, manganese oxide, calcium fluoride, etc. Control unit. Working. To begin the welding process. First, the flux is deposited on the area to be welded, and since the flux is cold it behaves like an insulator, which means bad conductor of electricity. And the electrode is constantly fed through the electrode feed mechanism. Then the arc may be generated by striking the electrode against the workpiece. The arc melts the electrode and the filler metal gets deposited on the base metal. This weld pool is covered by the blanket of the flux, fed continuously by the flux hopper at a predetermined speed or rate. Thus, shielding is obtained from a blanket of granular flux, which is laid directly over the welding area. The granular flux which is close to the arc melts and intermixes with the molten weld metal, helping to purify and fortify it. As the flux is lighter in weight. Some of the flux melts, it forms a layer of slag over the weld, thus protecting the weld, this slag is later chipped off. The excessive unmelted flux granules are then collected and reused. The welding is succeeded either by moving the welding assembly over the area to be welded or by moving the workpiece by keeping the welding system stationary. Advantages. As the arc is completely submerged in the granular flux, therefore, no spatters. Fumes are not generated. Ultraviolet radiation will be suppressed. This process can be made semi-automatic or fully automatic. This method can be used for both indoor and outdoor applications. Disadvantages. 1. Limited to flat welding position. 2. With modern tools and fixtures, it is limited to the horizontal position. 3. Limited to nickel, steel, and stainless steel. Applications. 1. Welding low carbon and low alloy steel. 2. Automotive, aviation, shipbuilding. 3. Fabrication of pipes, pressure vessels, example, boilers. 4. Circumferential welding. Hope you have understood, submerged arc welding. If you like this video click on the like button. If you enjoyed learning from this video and want to learn from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.